Let's take a look at the using length area and volume in calculations questions. Um, you can use a calculator for all of these questions. Some of them are quite tricky, so you definitely will need to use a calculator here. So question number one, Adam's putting a fence up around three sides of his garden. A sketch of the garden is shown below and the gate to the garden is 0 0.8 meters wide and does need fencing. So the, the amount of fencing Adam needs is going to be 8 plus 11 plus 8 but minus the 0 0.8 for the gate. And if you perform that calculation, 8 plus 8 plus 11 take away 0 0.8, you're going to get a total of 26.2 meters. Question two, Peter's fitting a kitchen floor. The kitchen floor is three by 2.5 and he's using tiles which are 0.5 by 0.5. So what I would suggest is work out the area of the floor. So the area of the floor is simply three multiplied by 2.5, so that's 7.5 square meters. And the area of a tile is 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 which is 0 0.25 square meters. Some of you might not like that answer but when you're multiplying by a number that is less than one then it will result in a, uh, a smaller amount. So if the floor is 7.5 and each tile is 0 0.25 well how many 0 0.25s go into 7.5? So the calculation is 7.5 divided by 0 0.25 and that is 30. So therefore Peter needs to buy 30 tiles. Question three, John's a gardener, he's cutting the grass of the field which is this shape here and we're told he can cut 50 meters squared in a minute. So how long will it take to cut all of the grass in the field? Well we need to work out the area. Now this is a compound shape so I'm going to turn it into two shapes that are easy to calculate the area for. So here we've got a 60 by 50 rectangle, 60 times 50 that is 3000 square meters. And here we've got 35 by, well, what is this distance here? Well, if it's 80 from here to here and 60 from here to here, then it must be 20 from here to here since 80 minus 60 is 20. So 20 times by 35 is 700. So the total area of the garden is 3,700 square meters. And if he can do 50 per minute, well, how many 50s are there in 3,700? Well, the calculation is therefore 3,700 divided by 50 square meters, and that comes to a total of 74 minutes. For question number four, the first thing we need to do is calculate the area of the lawn. So it's 7.2 long and 4.5 wide, so the area is length multiplied by the width, so that's 32.4 square meters. But since she's going to cover the lawn with lawn feed twice, that's the same as if she's covering a garden once that is double that area. So I'm going to multiply that area by two, and that is 64.8 meter squared. So hopefully you've understood what's gone on there. Instead of covering um, a 32.4 meter square lawn with lawn feed twice, she's covering a 64.8 meter square lawn with lawn seed once. So. A kilo covers 20 meter squared of lawn, so how many 20 meter squareds uh, are go into 64? Well, uh, one kilo is 20 meter squared, obviously. Two kilos is 40 meter squared. Three kilos is 60 meter squared. Now, so three kilos is not enough because 64.8 is greater, so therefore Myla needs four kilos and she's going to have a lot of uh, grass seed left over. So she needs to buy four kilos. Lawn feed is sold in two and a half kilo boxes. So she's going to need two of these boxes. So in total, she'll be getting um, off five kilos. So way too much lawn feed, but um, that's just the way it goes, I guess. Um, so she needs two boxes at 6.99 per box. So 6.99 multiplied by two is 13 pounds and 98 pence. Question number five, the first thing we need to do is work out the volume of one ice cube. So it's two times two times three, 12 cubic centimeters per cube. Now in one tray, we know that the one tray holds 12 ice cubes. So if we multiply this by 12, then one tray is 144 cubic centimeters of water. So how many ice cube trays will, will be needed to make ice cubes from 1500 cubic centimeters of water so we just need to divide 1500 by 
144 and that is 10.41 trays. Now 10.41 is nearer 10 than 11 but if we get 10 trays then that is, uh, that's not enough trays for 1500 cubic centimeters so in this case we're going to have to round it up so the answer is therefore 11 trays. Question six, we can see Susie's got a rectangular paddling pool which is two by 1.5 times 0 0.5. So the volume of the pool is two times 1.5 times by 0 0.5, which is 1.5 cubic meters. But she's only gonna fill it to 50% of its depth, so 50% capacity. So that means that will be 0 0.75 cubic meters of water. She's using a hose pipe that's going to fill it with uh, 0.05 cubic meters per minute. So how many minutes will it take to fill it to 0 .0, uh, 0.75? Or how many 0.05s are there in 0.75? In other words, what is 0.75 divided by 0.05? And the answer to that is 15. So therefore, it's going to take her 15 minutes to fill it to 50% of its depth. Question seven, the first thing we need to do for this is work out the uh, perimeter of the track. So it's 100 uh, on the straight bit here, so therefore 100 on the opposite straight bit as well. What we have here is a semicircle and another semicircle. And if we put two semicircles together, we get a full circle. And the circumference of the circle um, is pi times by the diameter. We've been told that pi is 3.14 and the diameter is 50 and 3.14 multiplied by 50 comes to a total of 157 so it's 157 that's not per semicircle that's both of them combined so be very clear on that um, so the perimeter of the track is going to be 157 257 357 meters now Mo's running 12 kilometers, which is 12,000 meters. So how many times does 357 go into 12,000? Well, that's going to be 12,000 divided by 357. And 12,000 divided by 357 comes to a total of 33.61. So to do exactly 12 kilometers, Mo needs to run 33.61 laps, but we're told that he finishes the, the final lap even if he's um, completed 12k during that final lap so therefore we're going to round this up to 34 laps. Question 8, the key thing here is we need to work out the area of the grass. So the area of the grass is the area of the garden minus the area of the patio minus the area of the pond. So the area of the garden is 12 times 20 and 12 times 20 is 240. The patio, that is a triangle, so half base times height. So that's five times by 10 divided by two, which is 25 meters squared. And the area of the pond, well, it's a circle, so that's pi r squared. The diameter is five, so the radius is 2.5. So that's 3.14 multiplied by 2.5 multiplied by 2.5 and that comes to a total of 19.625 square meters. So the area of the grass is going to be 240 minus the 25 minus the 19.625 so the therefore the area of grass is 195.375 square meters. And Ian needs to water each square meter with 10 liters per week. So how much water will he need to water his grass per week? Well, it's just simply this figure here multiplied by 10. That's quite easy. So it's just 1953.75 liters. Question number nine, this is quite a tricky one. So the first thing we need to do is work out the volume of this um, slush drink container. So I guess we just got to imagine that it's sort of got this sort of third dimension here. Now to work out the volume, we need to work at the area of the front face and then multiply it by its depth, or here it's described as the length, which is 25. 
Now the area of the square is 18 multiplied by 14, which is 252. This is a semicircle, so the formula for a circle is pi r squared, so we want half of pi r squared. So we're using 3.14 for pi. The diameter is 14, so the radius is 7. So it's going to be 3.14 times by 7 times by 7, and then divided by 2 because it's a semicircle. So this part here has an area of 76.93. So therefore, the total area of the front face is 328.93 square centimeters. Now for the volume, we're going to multiply this by 25. So therefore, the volume is 8. 223.25 and that's going to be cubic centimeters. Now it's filled to 80% of its capacity. So what is 80% of this amount? Well, we're going to multiply that by 0 0.8. And that comes to a new total of 6,578.6 cubic centimeters. So that is the amount of drink that's in there. Now, each individual drink is 300 milliliters. And we've been told that a cubic centimeter is one milliliter. So we can simply turn this into 6578.6 milliliters. So how many 300 milliliters are there in 6578.6? So the calculation is 6578.6 uh, divided by 300. And that is 21.92 drinks that you can sell. Now, obviously you can't serve 0.92 of a drink. So we'll have to round that down to 21 drinks. And if each drink is £1.50, our final calculation is 21 times by £1.50. And 21 times £1.50 comes to a grand total of £31.50p. That's quite a tough question. And as you can see, there's loads of calculations going on there. So well done if you got that answer correct.